हेलो वेलकम टू डिसेपल ऑफ क्राइस्ट फैमिली मैं आपको डिसेपल ऑफ क्राइस्ट परिवार में स्वागत करना चाहता हूं सबसे पहले और आज हम बात करेंगे ऑनेस्टी सच्चाई ऑनेस्टी के विषय में हम थोड़ा बात करेंगे इट इज वन ऑफ द इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स ऑनेस्टी वी ओन इन ऑनेस्टी वी ओन इन टू बी ऑनेस्ट Uh, we live in this honest generation and then there are problems it is the high time for us to start living our honest life starts from starting from our family our uh, community you know we need to start living honest simply means a trust trustfulness of a person the honest person is a person who makes life uh, trustworthy in his or her uh, her life honest means hearing the truth and uh, representing the truth about selves to others when it comes to honesty in the book of leviticus chapter 19 verse 11 it says do not steal do not lie do not deceive one another this covers everything about honesty and we we should not limit this verse only in these uh, three things we are told not to steal means not to involve in corruption we are we are told not to lie meaning we we should not cheat others you should not take advantage of what you are be honest and when we read a uh, verse do not deceive one another this is what the bible is telling us and when we uh, when we uh, imply these three things when we stop stealing when we stop lying when we stop deceiving one another i am telling you uh, you know our community will live a peaceful community the honest person is uh, people are very less in our community when it comes to do not deceive one another this means to desire someone's property unlawfully and trying to confirm that it is your own this is considered as sin stealing and lying and deceiving others and others property is sin we must know this and i hope we all know as a christian this is because formally you spoke the truth by claiming that that uh, others means you use some someone's property by by, by saying that this is Uh, his or her property and then slowly after a few days after few weeks after few months after a year you change your mindset and you you say you are saying you know this is my property this is my thing we should not be like this we need to be honest as we live in our community when we read micah chapter 6 verse 10 to 12 it talks about sins of a peep of the people in this verse people have forgotten god's way people have started lying people have started stealing people have started deceiving one another in their own community there was too much of violence in the land the people were not acting wisely there was cheating everywhere this honesty was prevailed in the land too much cheating to their customer in business sector to respond to this dishonesty god spoke to his people through prophet mika god hate such actions and unfair practices it is said that violence were mostly committed by the rich people those days in in uh, mika's time and it is also said that lying was almost everywhere When we read Proverbs chapter 16 verse 8 it says better a little with a righteous than much gained with justice even this verse in a way is telling us not to act in justice but to live honest as a believers believer community this means we should not focus in righteous uh, though we may have little we may have uh, nothing we, we may not have nothing like our others have but it doesn't mean that we will cut others property we will cheat others we will uh, you know kill others verse is not telling us 
just simply it means be satisfied with what you have gained in righteous way much better than the 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 things that people you know dishonest people have gained what you have little is more than the things the big things that the, you know dishonest people have comforting this verse dear brother or sister how honest we are living in this in our community are we satisfied with what we have or we are trying to cheat others deceive others and try to build our empire may we all know that we are asked not to live or act dishonestly but things with pure heart and with honest and please keep in mind that uh, sometime we let us start living our life in honesty and make our community better than this we know we know that things are happening unjustly because there is no honesty in the people's heart. Let us spread this news that we need to be honest for better future, for better community. Let us live the life rather than trying to deceive others, trying to steal others' property, trying to cheat others and make all things our own. That is against the Bible. Let us live honestly. God bless you.